This sports segment, sponsored by A&D Automotive Group, located in Dothan and Enterprise. Good evening, folks. Well, in tonight's high school football preview segment, we travel to the Western Wiregrass to visit op head coach Brent Hill and the Bobcat squad. Now, last year, the Bobcats missed the playoffs for the first time since head coach Brent Hill took over the program some five years ago. The team went four and three in the region, but when you play in Class 3A Region 2, it's a very tough teams like Slocum, Providence Christian, and Geneva. Coach Hill says a lot of his young players on his squad are now seasoned and they're ready to start. A lot of freshmen last year and those guys now are sophomores. Uh, we're still a very young team, but uh, I've been very, very pleased with what we did in spring and the summer workout. Uh, now on Friday night, August 31st, Op will host Elba High School at Chanel Lee Stadium, only 10 miles apart. These two teams traditionally start the season against each other. And not too far from either Op or Elba is the Jack community in northern Coffee County. The Zion Chapel Rebels are looking to build upon success from last year. In his first season at the helm, Coach Randy Bryant, well, he only went 2-8. and eight. But there are several reasons to be optimistic if you're a Rebel fan. What we're trying to get accomplished. Um, you know, I wish I could say how many wins I thought it would be, but uh, I don't know. It's going to be very, uh, you know, very interesting year. I look forward to uh, really looking forward to it. We had a great spring, great summer. Now on Friday night, August 21st, the Rebels will play at home against the Houston Academy Raiders in the season opener for both teams. On Tuesday night, we spoke with Enterprise native and Troy sophomore Marcus Jones. Now tonight, the 18 Action Sports Camp spent time with one of Marcus's teammates at both the prep and collegiate levels. Enterprise native Dylan Bradshaw is a sophomore and has moved to the second string center position. Dylan has worked on losing weight during the offseason and adding muscle. He credits his days as a Wildcat playing under coach David Faulkner with his love for the game. I couldn't ask for a better coach than Coach Faulkner. You know, he is a perfectionist. He's a technician. You know, everything's you know got to be perfect. I mean, we stayed on the practice field late. Just like he's a, so much like Coach Brown in a way. And Troy coaches say Dylan is one of the most improved players on the roster coming into fall practice. A quicker, leaner guy with a lot of determination. And speaking of Troy, fans will have their voices heard as they will vote and decide on the design for the One Troy t-shirt to be sold at the school's Barnes & Noble store. Fans can visit TroyTrojans.com between now and 5 o'clock Friday afternoon, August 24th to vote for their favorite of the four designs you see on your screen. In addition to voting on their favorite One Troy t-shirt design, fans can also get primed for the 2018-19 season at this Saturday's Fan Day in the Trojan Arena. It's set for 1 till 3 o'clock in the afternoon. In the Braves' current homestand, they've defeated the Miami Marlins four consecutive times. Their fifth game just getting underway at SunTrust Park in Atlanta. On Tuesday night, that was Ronald Acuna Jr. Homers in five, get this, five straight games to become the youngest at 20 years old to achieve that feat in Major League Baseball. And tonight, Acuna will be going for his sixth straight game with a home run. In fact, that might set a record in itself. And folks, our first Extra Point High School football show this season is a little more than, let's see, 48 hours away. Can you believe it? 18 action sports cameras will be recording highlights across the wiregrass, as well as Southwest Georgia. Now, our game of the week will be in Bainbridge in a big non-conference clash as the Seminole County Indians of Donaldsonville play the Bearcats. Now, that game starts 630 wiregrass time. And Ben... You know, you will be able, you and I will be able to host this show each Friday night through late November right here in our studios. Sarah Drake will be riding the roads, bringing us action from the game of the week across the tri state. Yeah, between the both of us, Mike, we added this up this morning. We're looking at a half century here on the screen of covering high school football right here in the Wiregrass, folks. You cannot find that anywhere else in the Dothan television market. The extra point runs from 10 to 1035 following a short local news and weather segment. I feel like Father nights. Time, Ben. Father Time. You are Father Time, Mike. <laughs> know, and you look so. great. You look great, <laughs> Thank sir. You. Thank you. Hey, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Stay with us. You're watching the news at 6 o'clock. 